<laughs> I did. Uh, well, my girlfriend did. I didn't. But uh, yeah, it was a bit late. But no. Um, yeah, just get to be here when you get to the airport. You're that little step closer, I suppose. What kind of shape are you in, right? Best shape I've ever been this far out. Still got five weeks to go. I think that a push. I could be ready in a couple of weeks. I've got to be careful. I don't overdo it now. But uh, I've got a fair few fights under my belt now. I'm very experienced at this game now, so I can't see uh, can't see that happening. But uh, just the perfect, perfect, uh, perfect shape for the for the time of my training camp. And is this the best we will see of Ricky Hatton? Yeah, without a doubt, this is the best Ricky Hatton. I think I'm even the Ricky Hatton today is even better than the Ricky Hatton who beat Costa Zuka. Chapman. You know, that's the best win to date so far in my career. I've had a lot, lot more to my game, and uh, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised when uh, come fight night. What is the difference, though, Rick? Uh, well, the difference is I'm, I'm back moving my head and back using my jab and fun combination punches as well, along with the 100 mile an hour body punching, you know, and aggressiveness that I suppose everyone has come to like about me. So, uh, but you know, a little bit more finesse and really basically thinking about what I'm doing now rather than just steaming there and making it easy for my opponents. So, uh, yeah, very much improved in every department now. How do you assess the, the Pacquiao challenge though and compare it to, say, Floyd Mayweather Jr.? Well, um, he's equally as tough a fight, you know, he's a southpaw, he's very, very quick, you know, he's a decent puncher, very, you know, big puncher. Uh, but this is my weight division, you know, I've only lost one out of 46 fights, and that was moving up to welterweight. I've won a world title at welterweight, but it's clear it's not a natural decision now, you I really feel I am the boss over my opponents from a strength and size point of view, but along with this extra boxing ability now, which, I've, which from what I'm hearing from the Pacquiao camp, I don't think they're prepared for, I think they're going to get a shot. You say that? But he's a threat, isn't he? <laughs> it's a daft question, really. But, yeah, I mean, if the pound-for-pound pound number one fighter in the world isn't a threat, then I don't know who is. But, uh, no, I mean, this is my weight division. You know, uh, I'm very, very strong. I'm a lot, lot bigger than him. And I think size and power will play a factor on the fight. But uh, it's not just size and power isn't just going to be the be-all and end-all. You know, you've got to have everything in your armory to, to beat someone like Manny Pacquiao. But I believe we've got it. How many more challenges to come after this, though, Ricky? Not too many. I mean, you, you can't go any higher than beat the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. So uh, I'd say Manny Pacquiao, hopefully, if I can beat him, which I believe I can. Maybe one Manuel Marquez, you know, the Mexican legend, he's number two pound for pound. Then maybe a crack at Floyd Jr. again. I was going to say Floyd Jr. because he is back in the gym, isn't he? It's all heard, yeah. How much of a of a goal would that be for you to go and face him again there, right? That's a goal. I think this is a bigger goal at the minute. Obviously, you know, I challenged Floyd for the pound for pound side, so it didn't quite come off. But I'm challenging for it again but with perseverance, hard work. I still might get my dream. And uh, to be perfectly honest, this one seems more realistic because I've always said nobody would beat me at 10 stone. And uh, I still believe that. I think if you take the size and strength away of the way I'm fighting at the minute under my new training camp, uh, I still fancy my chances against Manny Pacquiao, but needless to say, it's going to be a tough one. So what is the plan now for the next few weeks? You say you're at the well, virtually at the fighting weight now, so you've got to rein things in a little bit? Yeah, we've got to rein things in a little bit, but obviously we do a lot of altitude training. We're going running up Mount Charleston. Uh, we've got about four or five different sparring partners that are going to come in, south cross sparring that I like my, my opponent. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, um, I mean, I've done a lot of hard work in a short space of time, so this early into my training camp, but it, it still gets harder. But... Uh, just got to keep an eye on things, being in such, such good shape already. Usually pretty laid back, but you seem quite relaxed as well. Is it more relaxed than ever? Yeah, more relaxed than ever. I mean, I'm super duper confident, you know, for the for this fight. I mean, I've always been confident, you know, of winning every single fight that I've, that I've took place in. But uh, for the size of this fight, the challenge that lies ahead, trying to become the best pound for pound fighter in the world, um, I know I'm going to be up against it. I know it's going to be a very tough fight. I know I'm an underdog, but. Uh, I think me and my camp know what Manny Pacquiao does at the minute. In a few weeks, the travelling army of fans will join you over there as well. Oh, it'll be fantastic. You know, they travelled over there for last time I chance for the pound for pound title against Floyd Mayweather. Britain's not had too many pound for pound number ones. I don't know if they've had any pound for pound number ones. So uh, probably the fans see think, see him being there for a little bit of history if I can do that. So uh, I expect him to turn out in the droves and uh, in becoming number one pound for pound. It probably go down as one of the best. British wins we've ever had, if not the best British win I've ever had, so it's, it's massive and I'm, I'm going to do it proud. Still a big inspiration for you that support as well, isn't it? I suppose it keeps you going in many respects. Of course, it's, it's the best uh, the best title in boxing. I mean, I'm going for the best title in boxing because I suppose that number one pound for pound 
but uh, the love of the fans is priceless and uh, I've got that in abundance. They always support me magnificently and I think this will be no different.